Okay, residents, how you doing? We back at you again, leaders of University Park. Um, I got a chance to look at the video recording of the last board meeting. I just want to share my thoughts with you all. Once again, let me tell you, these are my thoughts, my opinions. You can agree or you can disagree, you know, but we all have freedom of speech. And I choose to use my freedom of speech in regards to our village and our elected officials. I choose to use that, that right of freedom of speech through social media to try to get you all to look at things in a different perspective, to look at things with a different pair of glasses on than the norm, okay? Uh, to me, politics is like a marriage, all right? You say your wedding vows, and after a period of time, the vows are forgotten. Politicians, they give us their quote-unquote wedding vows during election season, and then they forget their vows when they get in office. All right? I think we probably had the worst mayor, in my opinion, in the history of University Park with our last mayor, Vivian Covington. To me, the, the eight years she was in office was literally hell, and you can see the aftermath of what she left behind. Our village was in ruins, all right? Shortage of police, shortage of public services, streets, raggedy potholes, we in debt, many lawsuits, $39 million stolen. I'm gonna say stolen, not mismanaged. So we're trying to make a change with our new mayor, the new elected board members. Okay, we're trying to go forward. The people have spoken and the people want to change. That's why she didn't get reelected. So when, you know, I want to cover this thing about this developer who's trying to develop homes in University Park and sell them for a profit, which that's what developers do. I have no problem with that. So as I review the video, he came up to the podium. He talked about himself. Okay. He talked about how he was not responsible with leaving Cityscape the way it looked for many years. He said that basically he was the first developer and then they sold it to another developer. Okay, let's break that down. Cityscape has been looking like that for many years, right? Everybody who has been active in the community, the people who live over there had to look at that stuff. So here's my question. If it's in fact true with what he told the board, okay, that he sold it to another developer and they bailed out on the project and left it like that, he had a lot of years to come before the board and explain his position and defend himself. Okay, if he's from University Park, he knew what was going on. He knew how the residents felt about that eyesore over there in Cityscape. Why didn't he come to the board previous years and explain this to us? Hey, I wasn't responsible for it. We sold it to another developer. This is them. If it's true. So now that cautions me not to believe what he's saying. So, if you see this video, sir, I will ask that you bring the proof before the board and the residents that you were the first developer that started that project, then you sold it to another developer and they left it like that. We want to see proof. You're not going to come up to the podium and just tell that to us because you had many years prior to come tell the residents what was going on with that project, but you didn't. But now you want to come before the residents and tell us that when you need something from the village, such as this, I believe, this bogus contract that Vivian Covington pushed through on her last day of office, okay? And we're going to get into that. But now you want to come to us and you want to tell us that you weren't responsible. So now I'm challenging you to bring proof. Bring proof, show the village. Show, show the mayor as he tries to review this contract in which Vivian Covington got us involved in. Bring the proof and show us that you were the first developer you sold it to this development company. All right? Now, another problem I have is this 
radio celebrity AC Green. He came up there to basically vouch for the man. AC Green don't live in our community. AC Green didn't have to deal with what we had to deal with with the last mayor and not $39 million missing. All right. He didn't he didn't have to live through this living hell through the last eight years of this mayor. So he comes up there and he tries to validate and vouch for this man, this developer who says he's from University Park. Okay. I don't care about AC Green. He don't impress me. I'm not starstruck. I don't care because he got a radio talk show. And he comes up there and says, oh, this man is nice. I don't care. Because right now I'm looking at actions of the people. And his actions has left that stuff over there at Cityscape looking looking like a bunch of trash. So AC Green, you can go back where you came from. All right. So I did a little research. You know, AC Green was helping people, like he said, uh, get out of, help them keep their homes and their mortgages through this law firm. But the law firm was charging $5,000. Right. So I'm stuck. I can't pay my back mortgages. Now I got to give $5,000 to this law firm to try to help me get out. And to my understanding, some people are still, it's been three years and they still haven't got their stuff straight. So if this law firm is getting $5,000, how much is, is, is AC, Green, AC Green getting to promote this? I don't know. I'm just asking a question. All right. Is he getting some money off the top to try to go recruit African-Americans who, who, who were losing their homes? I don't know. But in today's world, people don't do stuff for free, okay? They don't do stuff for free. But that's just my opinion. AC Green, I don't care what you said about the man. The garbage man sitting over there, cityscape looking raggedy for years. So you can come to the podium and try to vouch for this man and try to set song and dance to people. And what he tried to do was penetrate your heart. Oh, African-American community. Oh, black our, our politicians, all that. Man, I don't want to hear all that. This man... Got Vivian Covington to push a contract through the board on her last day in office. The mayor tried to rescind the contract. He needed to vote so that he could review it to see if it was in the best interest of the village. I knew Curtis McMullen and I knew Theo Brooks was going to vote for the contract. All right. Because she they, they were flunkies of Vivian Covington. All right. We already know that. So, but what I don't understand is why Trustee Tutu and Shirley Bowden voted without allowing the new mayor to review it. Do they know something we didn't know? I don't know. Okay, but common sense will say this is a new mayor. Okay, we got some new board members. Let's rescind this and come back to it while the mayor gets to review it and have our attorneys review it to see exactly what it is that Vivian Covington and got us into. Now, this is my opinion. She got some money out the deal to put this on the agenda, her last damn office, and get it voted through. Maybe she got some money under the table. Y'all ever heard of pay to play? Okay, people come to the uh, municipality or whatever. They need contracts or whatever. They give a kickback to the mayor or whoever, trustees, or I don't know. And then they get it pushed through. But this sounds very skeptical to me. It's fishy, something going on. I believe the mayor should be, have been allowed to review it. So why Shirley Bowden and, and Trustee Tutu voted for it, I don't know. All right. They could explain to the to the to us the people exactly what's in this contract. What is the village? What do they want from the village? What does this developer want? All I heard was he lived in University Park. Uh, he worked with the kids. And okay, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. I coach basketball. I coach grammar school kids, middle school kids, and high school. I don't go around saying, "Hey, I coach these kids." To try to pull on your heart so that that don't tell you nothing about me that just tell you that i coach basketball and i deal with the children the youth okay yeah it, it says that i have a space in my heart for the kids but just because you coach basketball football whatever that don't make you a good elected official so i'm tired of people bringing up our using our children what they do for our children to put on the heartstrings of the people okay i'm tired of that please stop using the kids and tell everybody you take care of the kids, this and that. That don't make you a good elected official. Okay? I'm happy that Coach Tutu is dealing with the kids and he's been dealing with the kids for years. Great. Good job. Okay? But now you're an elected official and now we expect you to act responsible and do the right thing for the village with that vote you got and not vote on some and pass because you know somebody or they may be your friend. That's not how we want to operate and that's how what we're trying to get away from. So... Shirley Bowden and 
Coach Tutu, Trustee Tutu, gave their votes and passed, and I'm sitting here scratching my head. I understand why Theo Brooks did it. I understand why Curtis McMullen did it, because they was flunkies of Vivian, all right? They ain't got no backbone to me. That's just my opinion. So the man got up there, A.C. Green, vouched for him and this and that, but, sir, you're a developer, you into real estate, bid on these homes, buy these homes with your own money, and develop them and resell them. That's how developing work. Why do you need the municipality of, of University Park? What's in that contract? And I hope the mayor is reviewing that contract and having the legal team review the contract to find out exactly what did Vivian Covington get us involved in on her way out the door. I believe, you know, she got her little stuff on the table and she going off into the sunset. But we need to find out what's in the contract. I have never heard of a municipality being involved in real estate development of, of, of vacant homes in their community. That's not their business. That's not the business. It's to collect our tax dollars, generate economic development in our community, and distribute the tax dollars smartly amongst the public services and things like that and give us a, a decent place to live and a decent quality of life. I never heard of somebody be in the real estate game. So, with that being said, sir, bring the proof that you brought to the board, that we need you to bring to the board, that you were the first developer and you sold it to another development company and they left it like that abandoned. Let us see the proof, that's all. Once you show that to the board and the mayor, then, you know, let's see, let's see where it goes from there. See exactly what's in this contract that, that the trustees voted on, that the mayor tried to rescind so he could review. Let's see what's in there. Let's see what's in there. We're trying to do away with the old business that we used to deal with with the last mayor, man. Our village is trying to make a come up. We got potholes in the street, things like that. We shorted it to the police. We're trying to get back on our feet. And what did she do out, out the door to me to try to get some under table money, pass this bogus contract bill, whatever, and the trustees voted for it, and we don't even know what's in it. The current mayor didn't even have time to review it. Really? I mean, the, the mayor now, Mr. Rudez, he didn't have time to review it. That's not how you do business. Another thing I've seen in the video, the motor fuel tax thing, okay? Theo Brooks, he expressed his position. But I want to say this. We can't wait. If we got money on the table that we can spend for the needs in our community, then let's spend it. We need our potholes fixed. Winter time will be coming soon. The, the streets look raggedy. How many of y'all have hit potholes in the street? Okay, we need some of our streets repaid. If we got some money, let's do it street by street. Things like that. We need more police on the street. Okay, we don't have time to just sit and wait, Theo Brooks. All right? We don't have time for that. The village needs to start repairing itself and, and, and going forward. We ain't got time to wait. We waited for eight years while $38 million of our tax dollars were stolen. So what are we waiting for, Trustee Brooks? Okay? So, let me just say this. I believe, this is my belief and my opinion, that Vivian Covington still has influence on that board. It's my belief. And the proof is, watch how they vote. I told you, the way you know these politicians is not what they say. Watch how they vote, all right? I believe she trying to run a shadow government behind Mr. Rudez's back, this is my opinion, influence Theo Brooks McMullen, all right? And watch how the new trustees vote. And we never gonna move forward with these individuals. So, I'll tell you this. Well, let me take that back. We're never gonna move forward if these individuals don't do the right thing. So, start watching very closely as the new mayor puts stuff on the agenda for the village. Now, if the mayor puts something on the agenda that I feel is not good for the village, you want to vote, I'm going to speak on it. I think that I have a, a, a good man-to-man -man relationship with Mr. Rudez. He know I want the best for our community and our kids. And if he does something that that's a little questionable, we're going to bring him to task also. He understands that comes with the territory as elected official. So all those board members on the board right now, if you don't want nobody saying nothing, if you don't want nobody critiquing you, if you don't want nobody saying anything about you or about the way you vote, then you're in the wrong business. You shouldn't have got into politics. You are a public official and you are under the umbrella of scrutiny and to be criticized. 
So it come with the territory. You wanted to do this? This what come with the territory. I'm a taxpaying citizen. I, I can express my feelings just like everybody else. And as the elected official, you have to just sit back and take it. What you gonna do? You have to be professional and take it. That come with the territory of being an elected official. That's why everybody can't do this. If you don't have thick skin, then you're in the wrong business. All right? So with that being said, just reflect on what I said uh, and watch how these elected officials vote and watch closely what they say. What they say at these meetings. Listen. Analyze it. Reflect on it. Like, man, hey, so-and-so said this. That don't sound right. Let me write this down. I got to ask a question. So, until the next board meeting, okay, we'll see what's going on. Aqua still haven't fixed our water. All right? So, I don't, I don't think we should pay a bill. The July bill either should be zero. So, if you have a bill for July, call Aqua and protest it and tell them you're not paying it. And if they say, well, you, you're not under the, the no drinking, uh, you're not under the do not consume, this your house, say, why am I still getting bottled water to my house then? Okay? So, that being said, don't pay a July bill. Tell Aqua not to our stuff is fixed. You're still delivering bottled water. Okay? It's not fixed. The problem is not fixed. So, until we meet again, but hopefully, this guy, and he'll come to the board next meet without AC Green, and had a proof that he was the first developer that started Cityscape, then he sold it to another development company. he have that proof. He could present it to the board and the mayor, and hopefully the mayor, you know, can look over it and see what exactly is in this contract that Vivian Covington then got us into, and the, 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 the trustees voted on it without letting the mayor rescind it so he could review it. So I think that was a bad thing on their part. All the ones who voted no against having it rescinded. And for you who voted for these individuals, all the trustees who voted no to have it rescinded so the mayor can review the contract, go ask them why. Ask them why they didn't allow the mayor to review it. Okay? Ask them that. You voted for them, so you gave them your vote. Question them. Ask them why. Why did you vote like this? It, it, this didn't make sense. Okay? So with that being said, till we meet again, peace.